The greatest secret in manifestation is having zero insistence of the outcome. This is the missing critical ingredient in the process of manifesting miracles. And yet, it is one of the hardest things to overcome. Having no expectations of a desired dream, manifestation, or result. It is essential to let go of our insistence of how the dream will come. If we are constantly thinking and feeling our dreams must show up a particular way, then how can heaven bring us the miracles? We need our ego to step aside and learn to let it all go. It will come in the right and perfect time. But to drop our dreams down to zero insistence and expectation will be the hardest test and will take every fiber of our being to get into the state of releasing our fear and firm grip and truly allowing God in. But yet, this is a critical key point. When you visualize your dreams and start taking physical action towards it, you have now created the perfect state of being you know you need to be in as you just saw the blueprint and treasure map for how your future self is living your dreams. We now mimic the person we just saw in our mind's eye. But we also must let that picture go now? Drop it completely? Yes. So we can leave that sacred space open for divine miracles and gifts. The only thing we need to keep is the state of being you were in your visualization. You must keep that energy state alive and well, sending your beacon of light into the universe. You know now how to behave, feel, walk and talk. You have absolutely no idea how the dream will manifest. You just know that it is coming. How it will come? You have no clue. Good. Leave that to the sacred and the divine. Release yourself from this enormous pressure of having to figure it out. Our physical minds were never designed to know how things will happen. Its actual purpose is to understand what is happening to you. Right now, when we try to figure it out, we actually block the very miracles that were trying so hard to get to you. Synchronicity will now plan your life in perfect timing. When you are in a state of innocence and awe, you are filled with wonder and an open heart. Like when you were a child on Christmas Eve, you know the magical gifts are coming. You are in a state of peace and excitement. It's going to be the greatest day of your life. Surrounded by your family, filled with joy, festivities, sweets, movies, Christmas music and laughter, carolers singing their hearts out, bringing joy to the world, skating on that winter fresh pond as your physical body vibrates in preparation for what's about to unfold. It's a magical winter wonderland and the angels are falling from the sky, shimmering like diamonds. That reminds us something divine is about to be born and brought forth into the world. You love the anticipation and joy. You feel it. And you act and walk with love and excitement, filled with hope, friendship, and faith weeks before the miracle is born. You wish the spirit of Christmas will never go away. The gifts that came to you were much more exciting than you ever thought. Such a surprise you jumped up and down and ran to hug your loved ones filled with bliss and thankfulness. You received a gift more magical than you ever thought possible or could imagine. And that's how miracles are manifested. <laughs>